there's always room for uh, a traditional approach. But um, the approach that I feel is going to resonate with young people who have grown up with the internet, who have grown up with video games. It, um, uh, the, there, there's a new kind of visionary who wants to use each of these um, mediums as a, uh, an instrument in an orchestra so that they're composing, in essence, symphonies of narrative, non-linear narrative. Uh, and vast narrative that um, uh, young people are going to want to engage with in so many different ways and even participate within. This is the new kind of narrative that I'm dealing with. In the next few years, you're going to see a new position uh, being uh, created uh, that will become more and more common. Uh, it's a variation on the title transmedia producer. In other words, uh, there will be a steward, a shepherd for very large tentpole uh, intellectual properties who will be responsible for coordinating and creatively um, uh, escorting the property across multiple media platforms. Uh, they, in essence, will be in charge of the universe. And, um, and they will respect the universe above and beyond uh, studio politics, above and beyond licensing, above and beyond even uh, the producers, directors, and actors who are uh, involved in creating individual components of this universe. They will coordinate it all, um, and some of them will be visionaries who will actually fabricate it and produce it in that way, in that style from scratch. And those will be spectacular. Those will be the, 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 uh, unlike anything ever seen in entertainment before. And, um, and ultimately, they will engage the audience, a mass audience, on a global scale and invite them to come into the canon and participate in the intellectual property, property directly. That's what's going to happen in the next five years. It certainly will be a different kind of entertainment experience. It'll be a lifestyle experience. It'll be completely immersive. Uh, movies like Avatar are going to come out and alter the way that people watch and enjoy movies um, because the experience will be so intense uh, that, that um, you will want another hit of that dreamlike, um, thrilling uh, experience. And, um, and so you'll go searching for it uh, with other uh, media like the Avatar video game from Ubisoft which is going to extend uh, that experience, allow you to live in that world. Um, the, the world is so rich that you will want to understand the philosophy of these uh, alien creatures and, um, and it's going to be something that can be studied. Um, the, these are uh, ways in which we learn about our world uh, through the metaphor of the transmedia experience. And, um, and to me that's thrilling because it's a brand new way of, of uh, interfacing with entertainment and with life. And from, a, from a, a monetization perspective too, will this mean that you will have to shell out a whole lot more money for your entertainment experiences? Will it take a larger share of wallet or will there be other opportunities through product placement or advertising and so on that will actually bring down the cost of your entertainment? The answer is yes, people will spend more money. <laughs> if, if I need to be in that world and that world embraces me and listens to me, I will pay for that experience and so will fans all over the world. This is a way to maximize uh, the revenue streams and potential value of the intellectual property. It is profitable. It's a profit center. Um, uh, however, uh, on the other hand, there'll be plenty that's going to be uh, available for low cost or no cost because sponsors are going to want to be attached to this experience. Sponsors are going to want their products placed in the context of, of this experience. So there'll be a mixture of, of things that I'm really going to want to pay for and things that I'm going to be able to enjoy for nothing, which will give me another little energy boost for wanting to be in this world uh, because it's sponsored. And since, this, since uh, last question, since we're at the Nordic event here, when will we see a multi-platform Viking franchise? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I believe rather soon. And, uh, and in fact, uh, what's, what's wonderful is that um, 
uh, Europe is embracing uh, transmedia in some ways faster uh, than the United States because of the integrated nature of uh, a lot of uh, uh, European nations and a lot of European industry. Um, you're going to see intellectual properties move more quickly uh, from uh, one platform to the next uh, in Europe than you do here in the United States where there are so many rights issues and so many rivalries between the companies. Uh, so I'm going to be looking uh, very much forward to see what our uh, Norse friends uh, have up their sleeves. Thank you very much. You got it.